Is that a song or is it like maybe a remix of something he already did? No, it's or? a brand new it's release. A, yeah. Is what it said. Because Johnny Cash was the last artist to finish an album. Seven years after he died, his album, the one that won the Grant Rock, came out. And he's the only artist to ever do, <clears throat> you know. So do you think maybe Jimi Hendrix played stuff and it was on a crappy recording? And technology has advanced so oh, much that they're I, able to take the I noise so. and the yeah. stuff out and just leave oh, the guitar riff. Sure. Yeah, I, I think and so. And then they add everything else in there. <clears throat> you know, I, I think that they, yeah, exactly. Look what they do with movies. Mm -hmm. Go from Technicolor to oh. Laser Disc. To, oh, yeah. It's all going that way. I think that's awesome, though. I love Jimi Hendrix. Now, yesterday was the first day of spring. Correct? Saturday. Saturday. Saturday was. Saturday was. God dang, it was cold. Man, my dad sent me a picture. It was snowing in my hometown. I felt it was the first day of fall. Well, the spring, first day of spring, the 20th or 21st? I don't know. I thought it was the 21st. Could be. Doesn't matter. It's cold both days. It's cold yeah. both days. <laughs> <clears throat> so, it doesn't really matter what day it is. And, let me stop right now and say this. And I forgot to do it on Saturday. Happy birthday. Boy, thanks, man. Yes. Thanks. Because Friday was your birthday, and we forgot to say it on Thursday's oh, show. Yeah. We all talked about it. We knew it, we knew it was his birthday. But it was your birthday on Friday, and man. And that was a funny video y'all did that y'all posted on Facebook. <laughs> that was Russell's idea. That was pretty funny. You know, it just opens me up. It just opens my life up to a lot of new opportunities. That's over, what happens this over year. Over 40 <laughs> softball tournaments. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, prostate checks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot, of, lot listen, of new things in life start up. Listen, That's I really saw that on Dr. Exciting. Oz. We can do it right here. Oh, yeah, we did. On the show? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll give it some thought. I, I, I will sit here while you lay here, and we'll let Stephanie do the program. I'll freaking stay because them big old fingers ain't doing it. <laughs> Stephanie, you might want to try to figure out what you're... Is that it? There may not be it? nothing wrong when you start, but there'll be something wrong when you finish. <laughs> All right, what, what is this right here? Tomorrow at noon. Oh, Ben and Jerry's um, tomorrow is uh, from noon to 8 p.m. giving away free ice cream cones. One scoop ice cream cones. Huh. Now, I watch their story. All over? No, just in, in the room. I watch their story. <laughs> <clears throat> awesome. And they had a tough time of making Ben and Jerry's work. A very, very tough time. And now, of course, it's a multi-million dollar right. deal. Yeah. And they don't own any of it. Yeah, didn't they sell out? Well, deal, they go in, they get board of directors. Board of directors don't like how it's being done. They get rid of you. They still work for the company. And I forget own. if it's Ben or if it's Jerry. One of them is uh, working with the government to raise money for uh, military. He, he, had, he has devised a program that for like 10 cents a person or something makes, these, makes umpteen millions and trillions of dollars. <clears throat> and he does it, and he does his deal by using... Uh, Oreo cookies. That's his presentation with Oreo cookies. If you was to take one cookie from here and put it here and one cookie, and then you have it. Pretty cool. Yeah. So that's he's a, he, he, yeah, they're doing that. An activist, something with, I, and I may be wrong, but I just read it, I, I watched it, and they had a really tough time of making it. You know, they were working 100 hours a week. They were making the ice cream themselves. Wow. Distributing it, and then finally, uh, one of the uh, big grocery chains brought them chains, in. picked them up. So we're in good shape. Bang. We're in good shape. I, oh, yeah. You know what? I think I've only ever had Ben and Jerry's one time, but I think it's cool they have all those unique flavor combinations that they come up with. And just goes to show you, Ben and Jerry can do it. Chris and Russ can do it. Heck yeah! I don't want to have to cook to do it. We ain't gonna cook. I'm saying if everybody would go ahead and buy our DVD, like I've been begging for the last six and a half months. <laughs> and they tell all their friends to buy it, we'd hit our 100,000 goal. There's a, uh, there's a movie called Something in Paradise, The Other Side of Paradise. And a friend of mine worked on it. Her name is 
Jessica Nielsen. She's a makeup artist. Right, right. And they are trying to get distribution. Now, she sent me a message, and what they're doing is they're raffling off something. There's 10,000 tickets at $10 a piece. I didn't go to it. I just replied and went, why are y'all having to raise money for distribution? Maybe we can give them some names or something. <clears throat> and it's a pretty, it had a long trailer on there, pretty cute trailer, you know, um, relationships, emotional roller coaster. It looked good, but everybody in the indie world has their way. Yeah. And every once in a while, one takes off. That's exactly right. Help us take off. Yeah, let's <laughs> take off. Fly 467, bringing Cowboy Lucky to you. <laughs> I, that's it. it. It's no different than a commercial. It's no different than that trailer you see blasted a thousand times before the movie comes out, and mm -hmm. then it's no different. We, we're, just, we're just doing the same thing. You know, Sunday morning, we go down to Lolita's to eat, and uh, we gave Jeremy some movies that he'd sell if he wanted to down there. And I'll be, before we got through eating, we had to sign an autograph. One yeah. was Bob signed an autograph. That's still really weird, but I, I, I really, it's exciting. Yeah. Sign that for me. Y'all are in there. Now look, I hope this never happens to you reaching 40, because it seems like this is, to me, is going to be the new thing that's going around. What is this, Stephanie? A 16-year-old girl uh, was diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome from too much texting. She now has to wear braces on her on her wrist and she said it slowed her down a little bit but she's still texting she was sending out a hundred texts a day that's nothing I know mm. that's, if you that's... have to wear a brace well, you know what I'm gonna tell you what my texting my texting has diminished over the last two months and I'm gonna I, tell you I'll why have to say so. I'm gonna tell you why it was an addiction of something to do and now I have Scrabble. True. That is, so, that is true. That so is true. So I, I don't used to to where I was bored. I Hey, what are you doing? Now, I just go to my Scrabble game. Yeah. That is a good point. That's so true. It, it, it wasn't so much, I feel, figured it out, it wasn't so much the texting, it was just having something to do. Right. So now I just play Scrabble. You know, I got like 12 games going. I can play them at any time. It's working your mind, too. Working your mind. Mm -hmm. Speaking of girls, because I watch this show, and I know Stephanie does, too. Solitary, which comes on the reality channel. I don't even know what channel that is. The reality, the TV channel. You've got nine people, and they're locked in different pods. And it's really you against you, and again, a computer. And a for the first time, a girl won it. But if you have never seen Solitary, it is a... You, you, it's just like Fear Factor, but you're by yourself. Whether you're going to eat that, drink that, whatever it is. Right. And you don't know you. what the other competitors are doing. Exactly. Right. That's that's the thing. So when, when you want to give up, you yeah. go, well, what if they got more than me? Yeah. Exactly. That, that's the cool part about it. I, I've watched it a few times. I don't record it, but I've watched it a few times, and that's the deal. And it's crazy some of the stuff that they, you know, that that they have to do and and it's all you know they go a couple of days without sleep or like maybe one hour of sleep and so their mind How is many exhausted days is this over? well see we don't know it never tells you i don't know i it, it can't be more than a week no it can't be more than seven days no. but they they say after day three or four the contestants really they don't have any idea they're out there they're they're they're, they're yeah. gone they're, yeah. touch on that real quick this right here. That's Beyonce's new cologne came out. Yep. Or perfume, rather. Perfume. One day at Macy's sold 72,000 bottles worth $3 million. And it's called Heat. It's now called Heat. I know something better than that. It's hotter than that. And it's Cowboy and Lucky. And if you'll tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, we could sell 72,000 one day with just a click of an email. A click of a button. A click of a button. You know what? I want everybody to have a great Monday because we're going to. Mm -hmm. And until tomorrow... I am Russ, this is Steph, that is Chris, and we are... Yeah.